Long gone are the days during the mid-20th century when heat and ice were the only applications for sports injuries. When that wasn't enough to get that athlete back into action, experimental surgery became the final option. Now, in some cases, an operation for knee or shoulder injuries worked well. In other cases, the athlete never fully recovered. Now, fast forward to 2017, and technology has stepped into game sports injuries. Well, how does it apply? Well, we'll find out more from an experienced athletic trainer, Devon Taylor, who's the regional business relations manager for professional physical therapy. Matter of fact, this guy is a man of many hats. How many hats? What else? Uh, well, um, <laughs> many things. I'm also an adjunct professor at um, St. John's University where I teach um, um, exercise physiology for coaches. I also do such things as uh, ergonomic assessments and things like that. So. Okay. Very, very poor. Cool. It's been about 10 years, right? Yes, Since yeah, I had yeah. you in here last time we, we were upstairs. Yeah, And yeah, we were no, talking about time. technology yeah. and where this thing is going. Mm -hmm. And this is where this thing is now. Yeah. I mean, long gone on the days, like we said, when the, when the coach was actually almost a trainer yeah. at the high school and college level. He would look at your finger, look at your ankle, maybe pull it out, maybe spit on it, send it back in there. Yeah, right? exactly. Pat you on the head yeah. and, you know, yeah. So now, I mean, you know, we talk about ice and heat. You know, ice is still one of the main things regarding for injury care and, and also regarding injury recovery. You know, ice helps to close down the blood vessels to, to prevent the swelling. Because basically what swelling is, this is the body's response to, to an injury. So by swelling the area, it actually immobilizes it so, so you can't use it. Mm -hmm. which is fine for the healing process, but now imagine if you're trying to get back on the field. So we use ice to help to stop the swelling close up the blood vessels, and then when we get into the new things, such as the game ready and some of those things now, we're going to talk about. Now, ice is initially, uh, is the initial reaction to an injury. Yes, right. yes, yes. You, you, you'd want to put ice on it. Basically, you have the, the rice theory, rest, ice, compression, and elevation. So you want to put ice on for the first 24 to 48 hours. The first two days after the injury, you, you definitely want to ice it. Okay, now, this is a technology, new technology. Well, it's been out there for quite some time yeah, called yeah. game ready. I, we have a clip of it. Let's, yeah. let's, let's talk about that. Well, the game ready basically basically takes several principles and, and, and automates it, okay? So again, usually years, of, years ago, we used to put ice, take an H bandage, wrap it, that's the, that's the compression, and, and then elevate the yeah, leg. I want to see the video of that. So yeah, yeah that's the game ready, he's yeah. sitting in there. Go ahead. This is it, right? Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, all right, so, so, so this is the game ready. I want to, I want to thank my friends from, from Hunter College, first of all. So this is the knee version of the game ready. So in the red device behind me, which is the machine that actually helps to pump the cold water in and also adds the compressive of, of air to help to try to pump it out. So, you know, with the game ready now, it, it makes that whole thing simple. Mm -hmm. you and, know. It, and actually keeps the blood flowing. Yeah, yeah, it helps to basically what it does, it helps to pump the blood back from the venous flow. So the arteries pump blood to the area, the veins pump blood away from the area. So by using the compression and the cold, it actually helps to pump the blood away from the injured area back into the heart to get recirculated blood to come now, these, into the area. That particular machine is mobile, right? And there are yes. all the versions of it where athletes can take take it home. Yeah, 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 yeah. They can yeah, sit yeah. in their living rooms and while they're looking at television. Yeah, stuff. exactly, exactly. The, the whole purpose behind that, years ago they had an igloo. Igloo made a version of it where you have to pick it up and put it down and so on and so forth. But now with the game ready, it automatically pumps it in. That's for injuries. But these next pictures here in reference to recovery. Let's show the recovery also. Yeah, okay, so, so, now, so now these devices here help regarding recovery. So nowadays, what we're looking to do, athletes are working harder and harder, pushing their bodies harder and harder to get that hundredth of a second to make themselves faster. So now what happens here by doing that, you know, your body produces lactic acid. Okay? And then the lactic acid causes muscle soreness. And when you have the muscle soreness, you don't really want to exercise because every move, you know, is, is aching. So by using this, the, whether the reboot or, or the recovery, it helps to pump that lactic acid out to help the recovery period quicker so you can get back to training. So that's a modern time. day version of the whirlpool. Exactly, because, you know, when exactly. When I was in college and you know, high school, they said there was an old saying, you can't make the club in the tub. <laughs> so if you're sitting in the tub too long, there's no way yeah. you're able to prepare for the Yeah, game. exactly. So, so this allows the, you know, the athlete can, can take it home. It's relatively, it's not that expensive. If you, if you look at the realms of it, it's about a thousand bucks for that. So, you know, so even a weekend athlete, if you want to take it to that extreme, you can, you, you can take that home with you, you know, and then it'll help with your recovery. A lot of the professional athletes have these in the homes and, you know, when they, when they leave the athletic training facility 
at whatever the college or whatsoever, they come home, they can they can put the boot on it to help just to again pump some of the lactic acid so out. So you only you have it for the legs, you have it for the shoulder. And well, it's actually mainly just for the lower extremity, okay. right? Right now, they don't really have it for for the upper extremity. But then again, you you think about it, you know, your leg muscles are the biggest muscle groups in your body. So you know, when you're doing a lot of running, sprinting, and so on and so forth, you really want that to kind of help and, you. And to also, that. what about weather? Hot and cold? Does that matter also during Not, an injury? Um, well, you know, it. it it really depends. Let's say we're at a football game, right? And let's say if it's 27 degrees outside, right? Mm -hmm. The guy sprains his ankle. At that point, you really don't want to put ice on it because there's a, something called a hunting effect. So when the body feels itself is getting too cold, your body will start to shiver, will start to generate heat, okay, to protect your body from, you know, from the cold. So if you put cold, if you put ice on something that's already cold, it's actually going to cause more swelling. So it's going to give the adverse effect. So cold weather would, 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 would definitely play a role in that. When you look at also the way technology has advanced, virtual reality, that mm -hmm. seems to be the thing also folks are really focused on these days mm -hmm. in terms of entertainment. What about in terms of uh, sports science and, and muscle recovery? In a well, sense? I know for some, in, in, in some places, they're actually using it regarding learning a new skill, learning a new technique in reference to, you know, there's, there's been research where they've showed videos of coaches showing a technique, they've had a coach physically showing the kids a technique, and now they probably added in some virtual reality regarding that just to learn a technique. Um, not, not so much in reference to recovery of, of injury, more of, of teaching a skill. Mm -hmm. So they haven't gotten to that, that point yet. I mean, right now, these are the, the most advanced what things. What about the, is, is technology also advanced in terms of um, injury prevention? Yes. Well, yeah, well, let's, let's use soccer, for example. And I don't want to jump into the, the talk about ACL injuries, but, you know, the majority of ACL injuries are non-contact injuries regarding the person just jumped, landed incorrectly, and tore their ACL. So there's a whole soccer series of exercises that can be used for any sport. Um, the Children's Hospital of Cincinnati did some research on this. So basically what they're doing, they're teaching kids how to land correctly, how to develop the hamstring muscles as opposed to the quadricep muscles, and things like that to try to help to reduce those chances of non-contact injuries regarding the ACL. Surgery. Is surgery always the final option? Well, you know, it, it, it really all depends on the doctor. It really depends on what you're trying to do. You know, if you're trying to go back to a high level of athletics, definitely surgery may be, you know, your best option because you want to make sure that the joint is stabilized. Again, let's just talk about the ACL. You know, you, you want to make sure the knee is, is stabilized. So if you're going to go into any activity where you're running, cutting, pivoting, you want to make sure you have the ACL reconstructed. Okay. Um, if you're not looking to get back into a high level of, of athletics, you can go without it. But then researchers show that, you know, without surgery, especially regarding the knee, you can lead to different arthritic um, problems later on in life. Right. So can't make the club in the tub, right? Remember, there you go. Remember that, right? Yes, yes. No, don't stay away so long. Ten right. years. Right? No, yeah, yeah. Long, I know it's man. been a long time, but thank right. you for having me back. Yes, sir. All we'll right. have you back for sure. Definitely so. Hopefully when we discuss uh, head concussions.